Hey everybody, so this has been my main strat for a long time. This is a deluxe player strat, I think it's called. It's made in Mexico. It's pretty cool. Noiseless pickups. It's got a switchable a switcher so you can activate various different pickup options besides just the five-way. But recently got a GNL Telecaster, or ASAT it's called, and I loved it so much. I really wanted to see what the equivalent of this guitar would be from GNL. So I've got it now from uh, from Sweetwater. I've never seen this before in a box. Kyle should read this before opening. We realize you may want to walk it. It says, tell me to wait 24 hours before I open it. It's cause I was about killed me to wait 24 yeah, hours. Uh, yeah, because it says, we know it's hard to wait, but please trust us on this I don't one. Know. I don't know if that's a bunch of hoo-ha or what, but I'm Man. waiting. 20, what? They know, it's their guitars. They're trying to give you some good advice. Well, so anyway, so I'm unbox I never do unboxing videos anymore. I figure they're boring. But I'm excited about this, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and unbox it right before your eyes so you can see what will happen if you get some sweet water. Of course, you always get candy, which I give to Nikki because I'm diabetic now. We so. actually give it to uh, one of our um, friend's kids, yeah. so. <laughs> and she loves it. She looks for those, actually. I, I keep them some, for it. Some propaganda stuff, which is always cool and good. Sweet water people are excellent. Thanks, Stuart Niven. It's my, it's my guy. You want to show Hendrix down here? There's He's going to get interested in that stuff in any. <laughs> I shouldn't okay. have done that. Okay. So then, of course, the it's packed inside the box. This is an S500 Tribute, it's called. It's about a $600 guitar. So it's not a cheap guitar, but it's not an expensive guitar. It's still an affordable guitar. And uh, it's it, uh, what I got was one in a, in a color called Irish Ale, which I thought looked beautiful. So we'll see how it looks. I don't know how well the light is in here and how good the light is. So, Guitar Gallery, it says. So they supposedly like looked it over, checked the intonation, checked to make sure it's a good guitar, took it out of the bottom. I know they sent me pictures of it, which were fantastic. Really nice photography department they've got. Well, I'll get that out of the thing in a while. Then there's a box inside the box. Woo, it just keeps going. G it's Nail Christmas, Fox. you're so happy. <laughs> Fullerton, California. Of course, it's made in Indonesia, I believe. Let's see here. So there's the box there. <laughs> Hendrix is smelling this box. Watch out, dude. I'm going to catch a snout. Okay. Oh, no. I had my finger on there for just a portion. That's all right. <laughs> you can be forgiven for that. It's Christmas. My gosh, we've got to have some good cheer and holiday, holiday uh, charity, right? <laughs> okay, Pooh. Hendrix, as a, as a... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Hendrix is like, what? So... Hendrix, it's a ghost. Gosh, there's going to be so many things he's going to tear up here right here. Okay, Hendrix, we're keeping on going. <laughs> it's rubber banded shut. Good grief. I, know, I had a harder time unboxing something, but they packed it sufficiently, I guess, for the journey. This came from Indiana. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Ta-da! Excalibur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a monster. I love this this bridge here. It's got a, a tremolo system, vibrato system, whatever you want to call it, that floats. It's really different than what Fender has. Of course, Leo Fender and George Fullerton, G and L is what it stands for. They designed this guitar. It's totally straight. I love this color. Look at this pick guard. Uh, you got five-way selection switch. It should be a push-pull somewhere on here. How do you do it? I'm not sure. Oh, is it on the... There's some other switch, I swear. I'm, maybe I just got to read how you do it. That ac activates the pickups in a different way. You got two tone controls and a volume. It looks fantastic. It looks like the action set up about the way I like it. That's front and back. I should hook it up to an amp real quick and just do it a couple of tones, not, not much. So I might get Nick. I might pull the um, GTX 100 in here and just hit a blues lick or two on it. How about that, Hendrix?
though.
I haven't pulled the plastic off of it yet. 
uh, I was going to say the neck sounds, it plays fantastic. The tuners seem to hold tune really well. It's beautiful to look at. Gorgeous, it's super playability. Neck radius different than a Strat. So better in my opinion. Uh, not The trim is great. I've not messed much with the knobs and everything. I still understand all the switching. I guess it's still just a five way. I thought there might be some other additional, something you do like to get additional tones. There is the middle tone is a push pull. It's like here's the bridge we get. Pull this up, it sounds like this. Totally different kind of tone. So, see a second position with it down. With it down, it's like this. Fascinating guitar, and a uh, lot more tones than I thought were in there.